Also running low on time this cycle, I think, so I shouldn't... Okay. I could try to head back to my ship. In fact, I kind of need fuel to get in there, don't I? Where's the interloper? I've got a couple minutes. I don't think it's... It's not enough to explore whatever's on Sun Station, though. So I don't, I don't think it's worth it. So what else can I do this cycle? Um... One of these fucking towers also has rooms in it. And I think I've explored the lore, but I forget if I have. I'll get in there before the storm hits, surely. Hell yeah. Yes! Have I checked down here? Everything that there is to see. I don't think this texture is supposed to look like that. First delivery, one warp core, first and black forge. Yeah, almost positive we've read this one. That is pointing me towards White Hole Station. Yeah, yeah, and the flirting. It is interesting they don't have a, a core here. I mean, presumably they took it and took it somewhere else, but it's very funny of it being. Knowing that there are warp cores we can hold. I guess they got taken to the high energy lab because that's where they are. Um, but, like, an object that we can hold and a scroll saying, Hey, here's one, and it's nowhere to be found. I think we should probably meditate since we're out of fuel and we don't... Getting to the ship and getting more fuel is not going to help us do anything, you know? Should we try to traverse cacti? What else is there to do? We can double-check interloper for any more info. Let's check our locks. Let's check our locks. We can double check the path of the gravity cannon just because I don't remember what's at the end of that. But I feel like we did get to the end of it. I don't know if it got us actually into the gravity cannon, but it led somewhere probably. So that's a couple things we can check. Check logs. Nothing new? N nothing? I've done nothing? Okay, Sun Station. There's a way to shape the travel from Ash Twin. Um, yeah, okay. What about Sunless City? Does it say there's more to explore there? Where the hell is Sunless City? Sunless City. There is no longer an orange thing saying there's more to learn here. So I think I've mostly explored that. So let's see if we can't... Traverse the cactuses.
And then I think I might try to explore the path of the gravity cannon before I head to Ash Twin, just knowing... Like, if I die to the cactuses, it, it was all for nothing. <laughs> you know? So... Well, I'm curious, if I wait... Is there potentially another entrance if I wait until the very end? I can actually use my scout, maybe. Finally, finally the scout will be useful. That's a joke. Um, no, that's a joke. Uh, the scout has, has proven useful on many an occasion, even though... I didn't think it's a mechanic I find less fun than the programmers wanted me to. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm if I ever start shitting on the scout, it is in, in a teasing manner, not because I actually think it's dumb. Um, but yeah, if I can, if I can shoot my scout to a good spot to double check if um, that upwards elevator portal goes several floors down rather than just the, that one floor that I'm exploring, that will that it wouldn't confirm, but it might hint, be hinting towards an idea of um, wait for the sand to clear and then explore the very very base of the sun tower for another entrance. Because I will like I got a little bit um, carried away after the first round of punctures, but I did get. Like, around the first corner of the, the cactus maze without taking any damage, while I was trying to be very, very careful. Um, curious if there is, uh, that is a legitimate strategy. I just have to, I, just, I gotta, I gotta completely nail it. And the problem is, like, you're very, very committed to it. Right? Like, you get around that first corner, and you and you take a bunch of damage. It's not like you can go, oh, I'll just head back since this is no longer safe for me. There's no bail once you get in. I mean, it, you might be more likely to get in than to get out if you're not halfway through already, but that it's, it's not a guarantee that you'll even survive. Um once you make the decision to bail. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me, and that's really what matters. All right, time to sit here and hope the game doesn't crash again. I'm sorry, I don't want to be a, a, a jerk about that. It happens, games crash. This one has crashed more than most other games I have played in recent memory, which is, I think, fair to say, kind of frustrating, but it's not ruining my enjoyment of the game. It ruined my enjoyment for about three minutes, and then I was like, the game's still fucking rad. Word? Just keep an eye out for that, I guess. feel weird to me that like that is its own channel but it doesn't even from what I can tell play like fun music or anything it's just like that, that channel does sure does exist doesn't it these days I'm going to be facing the right direction when I come out of that. Oh, I actually landed on that little piece of debris. That's fun. It's also weird, this control thing. On White Whitehall Station, the control is, like, the ball's in the middle, and you just have to put it to either the right or the left. It is weird that this one... It's on one side, and I have to put it on the other. It's because I'm... Yeah, I'm powering a different thing. 
What am I powering? Am I powering the city? When I put it in that direction? Fuck it, they're all dead. <laughs> I think it's... I don't know if it's a really obnoxious bit. I think it's a very funny bit of a game that I'm legitimately super, like, emotionally invested in and I'm enraptured with um, and, like, legitimately really enjoying. And I pretend to be the most callous bastard in gaming history. It's just like, yeah, f they're all fucking dead. I don't care. Stupid idiots. If they wanted their city to still be powered, they would be alive to stop me from turning the power off. Those wusses. Meanwhile, every time I laugh at something that a Nomai scientist says, it also makes me sad, because I'm like, oh, and then they all died out. Oh, wait, I wanted to explore Gravity Canyon route. Although, if I did turn off the city, I think that only turns out lights, but even then, that would be... Well... Uh, let me just... I'll just land by the lab so it's easier for me to... Because I'm going to need my ship to get from the lab to the towers anyways. So I'll just land by the lab. See, no, getting all the way back is obnoxious. I'll do that on a different cycle, I guess. It's probably nothing. In fact, I, I, don't, I might not even try to get that today because it's probably nothing. Uh, but I decided I was going to wait to see if there's anything at the base of the tower. Uh, so annoying. Uh, trying to figure out what I want to do. Uh. Right, well, I guess I figured out... Like, if I just land close to one of these towers, that's not actually in alignment with anything. My ship's actually probably going to be fine. Because I don't think the funnel ever goes over it, you know? I think we're going to try to be brave and do the cactus. Just because that's more fun. Oh, those are, those are cactus. It's reminding me of the trials ahead. I saw a big round thing. I was like, is that like a part of a ship or something? What's going on? It's not. It's cactus. See, it looks like it's kind of trying to trick me into thinking that there's no base to this tower, but there still might be. There might be a big chunk of rock, and then it comes back into the tower again. I'll I'll let I'll wait for the storm to pass one more time, just to see if there's any semblance of my theory. And then if not, we'll cactus it up. It's cool with the sun and pretty much any planet is a good way of knowing like the the rim that the storm will take. So I know if I stand back here I'm I'm clear of the storm. Kinda wild that cosmologically it just happened to be like that, huh? That's that was kind of the solar system. It does also just look cool. Planets aligning. I, the first time I think was Hercules. That was the first like media I saw that that used the planets aligning as like a plot point. Um, but it's quite cool. I like it. It's neat. What did the in the in, hear me out? In the movie, Disney's Hercules. What the fuck did they call the planets? Did they just name... Because I don't think when we discovered most planets... I actually need to double check this. I could be talking to my ass here. But I don't think... 
when people in ancient times discovered the planets and they named them after the gods, they thought, yeah, that's the actual god up there looking like a star. Although they might have, because the constellations they did name purposefully, thinking that, like, those were heroes that got reborn or something. But being reborn, like, that's different. They, they wouldn't think that that happened to the gods, probably, I don't think. Right? So I don't know. Did they did did they look up at uh, what's Mars is the easiest one because that's, that's the easiest to see. Did they look up at the big red dot and be like, yeah, that's actually the god of Mars. And I'm I I, I also particular like that is an interesting question that you can fact check and I I will after this because I'm curious. But yeah, like, see, it goes it goes back it goes back in it goes back in. You see you see what I'm talking about. I'm going to wait it out. You can't stop me. That, like, that's a real historical thing that I'm sure there's an answer to. But I also specifically brought up, in Disney's Hercules, when they can't even decide if they want to go with the Greek names or the Roman names, what, what do they do? How do they feel about that? When I was a kid, I got real uppity. Oh, this does look like it's hidden somewhere. This looks like this might be a little cave that I can explore. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, I'll go revisit the ship. Okay, that looks like it goes in. Okay, so I'm gonna go revisit the ship. I'm gonna come back, and I think I, think I, I was right. Again, it's less fun than trying to get past the cactus, but it's more smart. Some might even say, if you're some kind of English major, the joke is that I'm an English major, um, smarter instead of more smart. But you would say more clever rather than cleverer, even though that word is kind of fun to say. No, don't go up. Don't go up. I'm trying to go down here. God damn it. Is this... Where's the base? Where's the base? Because I thought this was it. This leads to nothing also. Get the fuck out of the way, Storm. You're a cool X-Men, but you're not a cool actual phenomenon. Wait, where the hell, where the hell is it? Where the, okay, it's there. There's fucking nothing. There's fucking nothing. God damn it. All right, where's interloper? How much time do I have? Okay, got, got, got probably five minutes left. God, I thought I was cooking with that one. I guess you really just have to get past the cactuses, huh? Like, you, there's no easy way. There's the hard way of uh, get through the cactuses, or there's the hard way of land on the station. <laughs> Which, to clarify, we learned, does not even have a landing pad. And the sun is highly likely to suck you up, slurp, slurp, slurp. And I will not apologize for saying that in that manner. Because that's what it does. That's what the sun does. And we I can't we can't keep letting it pretend like it's a prominent member of society with with no baggage, you know? We got to hold it accountable by calling it out for when it sucks you up slurp slurp slurp. All right? Everyone's too afraid to call out bad behavior when they see it these days, but I'm not. I've had it. Okay. I thought about doing this earlier and then I didn't. Oh, oh, word. That's actually incredibly unhelpful, my dude. Probably. Okay, see, yeah, see, there is a lower level. It looks like. 
I mean, let's see what's in there, I guess. Okay, well, that's not helpful. And that's a ha oh, is that a hazard, is it? Huh? Okay, yeah, cool. All right, yeah, let's just, yeah, I'll just, I'll just, yeah, sure, why not? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm still, oh no, my, my vitals. <sighs> that seems incorrect in terms of what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I get that I made it halfway, but I was being very careful, I feel like. And the amount of practice required. And the idea that I would have to do that every time after having turned the towers on. Because I can't do it before because I have to wait for the sands to lower enough to me even get inside the tower. And then I wouldn't have enough time to rush back and get into the lab. So like that's not, that's just simply not viable. That feels incredibly tedious, but I don't know how else to get in there. Whoa! That was the probe, huh? Alright, we're gonna explore Gravity Cannon, or the, the path to the Gravity Cannon, quote-unquote, and see if that actually is anything uh, of interest. Because I can't imagine the game would, like, if you happen to get to the city before you get to the Gravity Cannon, I can't imagine they would send you on this big giant scavenger hunt to get to a dead end because the way into the gravity cannon has been destroyed and not have anything but I'm just completely forgetting what what we found there if anything so I do just kind of want to know at this point and then let's check interloper and then against all my better judgment we will give dark bramble another shot curious, in order to get to the high energy lab, one of these... One aspect of this path... God damn it. One aspect of this path has to be... Heading directly through that little tiny equator section. I'm curious which part it is. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, you should keep an eye on that. Because that's that's weird. It's not in the core of the planet, but it's pretty far down there. What's even over here?
I'm gonna head down to the pit and take a look with the uh, scope to see. What are we? What are we talking about here? Okay, it's still it's still over a hundred meters away, so it's not particularly close to the city. Come on, you son of a bitch. Ow. Right, I think this is... Yeah, stepping stones up there is where I want to go. Right? Yeah, up here. Okay. There is a god! Damn it, and I have discovered that already. Okay, that doesn't skip past the lab entrance. So I was wrong about that. But yeah, there has, there has been a secret entrance the whole time. <sighs> yeah, yeah. All right. What else do we want to do? Interloper? We could go. We could do interloper this cycle. Ow. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, interesting, it's like right in there, huh? That's an odd spot for something. What the hell is that? Also, what is that? You've been holding out on me, chert? Is that who's here? I don't remember. But yeah, hang on, let's double check this. Aha, we do have writing. I was going to say, kind of wild to have this here with nothing to go with it. Melorite. Coes is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole, several days ago, and we're unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I beg any friend reading this, help us recover Coleus. Oh, right. <laughs> Anyways, on a different note, this rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this some rock, this same rock fragment of the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? 
We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update. Melroy went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there, and sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Sure does, doesn't it? Ow! Fuck you, dude! Did it move a cactus in my way? Well, for that, we're gonna try something. Oh, okay. I thought I... <laughs> really thought I had something there. God, it is moving cactuses in the way. That sucks. Alright, if I'm touching it... And then I look away. Okay, it doesn't like when I'm touching it either. I mentioned Coleus getting transported. I was really hoping that would be something I could work with. It seems like I can't just be touching it and then have it be out of sight. Okay. God, the cactuses are really trying to... They're in my head, man. They're in my head. Alright, North Pole, you say? There might be something interesting happening there, too. Some more in information. South Pole? I don't remember. I was pretty close to the North Pole, so let's check South Pole for stuff. There was a little glowing thing on the near the South Pole. Oh, that's my scout. Did they say North Pole? My gut tells me North Pole. Ow. Let's refill on fuel and oxy. Yeah, I know. Oh, lake bed is probably just the bottom of where Chert's been hanging out. Access the cave down here. Not this late in the game. Damn. All right, let's talk with Chert for a second, and then we'll, we'll figure out what to do. And then I think what we're going to do is, or actually, hang on. We'll talk to Chert, and we'll get some cactus practice. Yeah, that's a fun phrase, huh? The next cycle we'll explore this little cave to see if there's any more information to be gleaned. Then we will explore Interloper. Oh, I forgot Church the little guy. I have a question for you. Yeah, let's talk about Sun Station. This one's most curious to me right now. Is that what's in orbit around the sun then, do you think? This Sun Station? Quite clever of the Nomai to devise a way to study the sun up close and personal. It must have been tremendously difficult to construct, and hot inside, I can only imagine. I wonder how they were able to travel back and forth from the sun station and the hourglass twins, and the slightest slip-up could have meant a fiery death. Or a pokey death, turns out. Quantum moon. Oh yes, everyone loves a good mystery, don't they? Who wouldn't wonder about a moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? I observe the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to. Fortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps if I take a closer look at those star charts. I think I already asked about this. Did you? I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid, or just partially made of ice, like a much colder giant's deep. It's hard to say. It used to be a fifth planet in our solar system. You'll notice, of course, that there's no such planet now. And its place is Dark Bramble, which... How to put this? Grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually the planet shattered completely and its shards were flung across space. Some of these shards collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Etelrock, which I believe is how its biggest crater was formed. 
That's interesting. That is new information, because that's what we found on Alarog. Which I think it said, but I forgot. Yeah, what's this about a hidden planet? How fascinating. It might interest you to know the existence of an additional planet is entirely plausible if you look at the physics of our solar system. It would just have to be incredibly far out there, farther than the Hurthian ships would be able to travel. And honestly, we don't know all that much about what's all out there. The farther you go, the less we know. As such, it's well within the realm of possibility that such a planet exists. Coolio. Yeah, I should check in with a lot of the other astronauts and see if they have any extra commentary. But yeah, it looks like... I, like, I don't think we have a portal to the sixth planet, so I imagine... Quantum Moon is how we get there. That's, that is its sixth location. Alright. It's gonna kind of suck if we do get past the cactus when the towers are turned off. But I do legitimately... Just want to get some practice in. And I want to fucking double check to make sure I'm not crazy. Because I sent that scouter in, and it did make it look like there was a lower floor. Absolutely sweeten about this. This is looking to be a very unproductive session, which is a bummer. hidden camouflage is there. Ow. Oh! I don't think I was supposed to see that, but that also helped confirm that there are, in fact, yeah, very much zero hidden entrances, at least from what I could see of that little glimpse. Oh, I shouldn't keep doing this, but it's not a bug, it's a feature. It's an exploit. It is glowing very heavily purple, so is there a chance it's already on? Probably not, but worth checking. God damn it! Should I not be jetpacking? Should I just be using ZR? That's like barely enough to give me momentum, but it's more controlled. Damn it. I 
All right, what did I want to do this round? Interloper and... Cave, cave on Ember Twin. We'll start with that since the sand hasn't filled up yet. <gasps> yeah, yeah. So scared of the thorns, buddy, aren't we? Off we go into the wild blue sun. You know? Where's that smoke at? Show me that smoke. Here it is. I've had worse landings. Not many that have survived, but they've been worse. 